What's up guys, how you doing? So today's news is pretty fucking stupid if I do say so myself, but to be fair, it's not surprising when it's related to Sony. So yeah, apparently Marvel Spider-Man 2 is not marketing the game that much because of the franchise we all know and maybe not love as much as we used to, Call of Duty. Now you're probably wondering, Scarlet, what does Call of Duty have to do with Marvel Spider-Man 2? Let's get into it. Really quick, I tried to do some research on this topic, but couldn't really find anything super solid. So take this video as a grain of salt, but if you did not know from my knowledge, Knowledge, and from what I understand Activision is split into like five companies okay so we got King Digital never heard of that Activision Blizzard merger I don't know what that is but you know Activision Raven Software I have heard of them Infinity Ward which sounds familiar because you know they make the Modern Warfare series Call of Duty and Treyarch who makes the Black Ops series again Call of Duty apparently what is going on is that Microsoft has been tired of not having good exclusive games for years besides like Halo but who the fuck plays Halo anymore. So with that, and I I'm not even sure if they did already or are in the process of doing so, but apparently Microsoft wants to or is or already did buy Activision. It seems like they're trying to get Call of Duty exclusively for the Xbox. Now if you're a PC gamer, I don't think that it matters because I imagine like, like they're going to put the Call of Duty games on Steam along with Xbox. But of course, if this ends up being the case, PlayStation consoles will not be able to play Call of Duty. So now what does this have to do with Marvel's Spider-Man 2? and Insomniac games. Let's take it back to around, I think 2014, 2015, somewhere around there. I think that's when the first rumors of Marvel Spider-Man, like the first game in 2018, like being made or something. Over the years, Insomniac games has worked with PlayStation and Xbox, but they did release some Xbox exclusives, I think like Ratchet and Clank, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I never really played those games and don't know anything about them, but I know they've had some exclusives for Xbox, but they have made games for PlayStation as well. I do believe they have had more experience with PlayStation though. So again, 2014, 2015, Insomniac was trying to see like who they wanted to like make Spider-Man for exclusively, I'm pretty sure. And they went to Xbox and PlayStation. I think I talked about this before. I'm pretty sure Xbox said, nah, we're good. We don't want that. We got Halo and whatever the fuck else they have. I don't know. So in my opinion, Xbox fucked themselves over. But with that, PlayStation took the offer and then fast forward to 2019, uh, Sony owned Insomniac games because they bought Insomniac in 2019. I think we all know Sony for years has had so many big exclusive IPs over the years like Uncharted, The Last of Us which ended up recently turning into a show, God of War, what else? There, there's more I can't remember but there, there's definitely more. Uh, but those are the most notable though and of course Spider-Man. So I think Xbox has basically gone off the deep end because they realized they fucked up with Spider-Man so they want exclusive games to rival Sony. So again like seems like they're in the works I guess of buying Activision seemingly to have Call of Duty exclusive to them. I did read somewhere, and again, like, I don't know if this is like true or whatever, you know, again, grain of salt. Apparently Xbox said, even if they do buy it, they are not going to make it, they're not going to make Call of Duty exclusive to Xbox, which I mean, I don't know, that, that's kind of like a double-edged sword. So now let's talk about Call of Duty for, for a little bit. Call of Duty is a huge IP. This franchise has been going on for what, I think 20 plus years by now, I believe. But since Xbox is trying to buy Call of Duty, essentially, Sony has panicked and basically does not want to market any of their games due to Xbox, you know, again, trying to secure Call of Duty exclusively, like apparently. So now you may ask, how does this make sense? Or why would they do that? To be honest, I don't even know. Like we all know how Sony is, but like, let me put this into perspective really quick. Call of Duty, whether you like it or not, has been dying since like Advanced Warfare. This is because they keep making new games every couple years or every year. And on top of that, they don't listen to their community very well. Call of Duty franchise is great. Don't, don't get me wrong. I've, I've been playing Call of Duty since I was, I don't know, like what, 10, 11, 12, somewhere around there. My, my, um, my aunt's boyfriend's son taught me how to play Call of Duty. So I've been playing Call of Duty since, since like, you know, uh, early, early teenage years. So again, don't get me wrong. Call of Duty franchise is great overall, but people are already tired of the new MW2 and Warzone 2 or whatever. Yeah, they'll come back for like a couple weeks, a few weeks to, you know, grind the new season, but that's not going to keep them playing for very long because eventually they will abandon the new uh, Modern Warfare 2, the developers, to move on to working on the next game. And that's just the cycle they're in, and it will continue to go through that likely until the end of time. So with that, I find this entire situation stupid because Call of Duty is not going anywhere astronomical in terms of like numbers, sales, over the years, like it, it's gonna die down. And, and it, it already slowly has started, in my opinion at least. Unless Xbox buys COD and makes 
uh, one great game that maybe has like a, just a little bit of everything from like the greatest Call of Duties like MW2, MW3, BO2, Advanced Warfare, COD4, BO1. If it just takes like a little bit from everything, makes like a great game, listens to you know the community, and then over the years updates it slowly and gives like gives out weapons or not maybe not gives or yeah gives for free some weapons and some maps and then obviously for like other weapons and other maps like you know they could release DLC packs and shit like that from those older CODs throughout time and again makes new weapons and new maps and stuff and sticks to that one game there is no way Call of Duty will ever truly be revived in my opinion at least and I, th I think a lot of the Call of Duty community would also agree with what I'm saying because I I've heard this pretty much everywhere and sadly that's the only way that uh, Microsoft or Xbox can even rival potentially rival Sony's big catalog of IPs they have in video games on top of that I don't think Call of Duty will ever be as good of an IP until it gets to that point and even then it may not be good enough to rival Sony's catalog of IPs so with all that basically Sony is stupid they're trying to force their developers hand or they are forcing their developers hands to not market their games because you know Sony's scared of Microsoft um, that they'll buy a dying IP that likely Microsoft will never revive and I mean like who knows if Microsoft does buy COD and okay let, let's say like for the benefit of the doubt like they do end up doing what I said that would be great and all for like the Call of Duty franchise don't get me wrong but I really don't think PlayStation will lose out that much if that were to ever happen playstation still has like infinitely way more and better exclusives than xbox does so what do you think of sony being scared that microsoft is buying call of duty causing sony to not want to market their own ips i can't i i, I give up make sure you comment your opinion down below so i can discuss all of that with you in the comment section thank you for taking time out of your day to click on this video if you are new to the channel i cover spider-man related scoops rumors leaks confirmations for the games movies tv shows and i try to upload as much as i can so if any of that interests you hit the subscribe button we are on the road to a thousand subscribers thank you guys for all the support lately leave a like if you enjoyed this video let me know if you guys want more of this type of content don't forget to check out my latest video if you haven't already i hope you have had a good day and that you enjoyed the video until next time